Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Real. Welcome back to another pro level 1v1. Today we're here on a map called Sovereignty. It's not a map seen very, very often, but it is a unique map and a very, very decent map and sometimes makes its way through to tournaments and stuff like that. Down in the south, we have the up and coming uh, Russian player that is Staz. I talked about in recent videos how there used to be pretty much only one player from the Eastern European, like Russian speaking community, which was uh, always Asus. And now we have a few on the table, and uh, one of them is Staz. And he's apparently been spamming a lot of high level 1v1s. Let's see how he does here against the current number one, that is Xcal up in the north with the Jelly Vanilla, I believe. So we've got Demo against Jelly Vanilla. So, yeah, I think at least in the early game, uh, Excal has got the advantage. He's got cheaper units. Uh, the difference in placement of the CC when you start at the top is your workers start closer to the middle. So you've got uh, the chance to get more aggressive workers out on the map. Whereas the the south player has got workers closer to the supply. So it's traditionally he can get, or typically he can get a faster supply and a faster arms daily, which means a faster first technical, which means you can, can control the game. You can come in and like hit one rebel and then... Uh, kill a load of workers and have the enemy chasing after you rather than the other way around. So you're seeing the advantage there of the middle for Excal, but the problem is that those tank traps are actually blocking the view or the, the line of sight or the line of fire to that tunnel. So uh, lucky Staz there, he will actually finish that tunnel. Perfect block there from the tank trap. We've got a worker down here from Excal down in the bottom left. It's basically a size worker. Excal grabbing two oils. Staz grabbing three oils, although he has pulled his rebel off there by mistake. He's probably pressed Q when he was trying to... Oh, Excal's actually shot down the tank trap. Excal's also on two supplies faster, so his, his economy is better. However, Excal is going to lose that engagement. Oh, Excal's going to come in, gets himself a grenade tech, and now that technical there is doomed. But he will probably kill some workers. So that's good at least. And then the Staz is fast, uh, maybe. He would have been fast again, three, three oils. But uh, because he pulled that one, he's not. He's actually probably a few seconds faster. Yeah, he's a couple of seconds faster. Excal is also expanding to the middle. Tech RPG here from Staz. Takes out the one of Excal. And actually, two of Excal. Very nice. He can grab himself a super tech now if he's quick. But that one's disappeared. And Excal has denied that one. Excal also on a middle oil as well, so he's on four oils. And he's on two extra supplies. No, Staz has expanded here as well, but Staz has control of the far left. Um, certainly in the short term, you'd prefer an extra oil and a supply. But I mean, in the long term, that supply there has probably got more cash. It's a 40k supply. But Excal is at risk of probably losing this area. If that's a big tech RPG push, which it is, Excal can't pop from that. He can't pop from that. Instead, he's got to do something else somewhere else. He's trying to get his refinery in the corner. Forced to sell that. Loses the tunnel. Uh, Staz takes the lead with the XP. Technical here for... Excal is empty. Just going for some worker crushes. Uh, yeah, Staz looking in decent position, to be fair. He is uh, really looking in a decent position. That there was a real big... Power move, kick, kick, kicking uh, Excal off that supply and also stopping the refinery capture. Staz needs to get his refinery. Excal has found out where Staz has expanded to. I think that technical is very doomed now. Will Excal still remember the scrap deny? A little bit slow there, I think, or just not went for it at all. Excal sending a few quads over to the left hand side. Is that a TNT? No, it's not. I think Staz made a bit of a mistake there. He should have brought a worker in a tunnel and could have dropped an annoying one back here somewhere. Drop down a couple of demo traps. That's a missed opportunity there for Staz. Unless he was a bit short on cash. But yeah, could have at least dropped down a line of demo traps. And then could have killed a couple of quads. Stop Excal from expanding as quick. Uh, so is Staz leading now? He's leading by one extra supply. But he's behind by one oil. So it's kind of close. Excal actually dropping down a Stinger. Mm, that's an interesting place, Stinger. Like it's like behind the tunnels. Typically won't do much against the quads anyway. Another technical now for Excal. Continues to kill the workers here. Staz has captured his refinery. I do like that. And Staz with a massive engagement here. How could I miss that? And actually, Excal is taking a bit of a beating here in the middle. 
a lot of RPGs form the backbone of this attack. Staz actually deciding that is a little bit too much. Then he can chew. Actually deciding to go back for a second. Excal pops a load of units now. He should be able to hold that now. But Staz continues to fight. Chips away at least all the quads. But Excal has a lot of scorpions. RPG is now going to work on the scorpions. And a lot of scorpions here going down as well. Staz massively in the lead now with the XP. Like 200 ahead. On his way towards level 3, and he's actually deploying uh, Scorpions himself, and he is getting a Palace. Excal only starting his Palace now, and he's actually on three arms dealers. Excal. Yeah, there was a time in Zero Hour where three arms dealers was, was like quite a rare thing. Like, it was not really the thing to do, or it was like kind of a... Yeah, well, I mean, usually it's always Tournament Desert, but now you see all these big maps. Now three arms dealers is more the thing to do. Uh, so many RPGs from Staz, though. Where is he getting all these RPGs from? Because they're always forming the backbone of his defense or his attack. And, yeah, he's killed a lot. He's, he's actually level 3 now. I hope he gets the CC. And he starts getting the bounty money straight away. He's not getting it right now, but I hope he does. I want to see Zero played at his best. Um, third arms dealer is up for Staz as well. And Staz actually here with a little bit of a push. Excal trying to creep forward with his worker. Again, in the same kind of position as he did before, but this time a tunnel is in place, so that will go down. But yeah, Staz, please drop down a CC, man. Please be getting the bounty money. Otherwise, it's all just wasted money that you could have had, and that's so frustrating to find out later. Excal, Excal on the collecting on four workers. Staz on the collecting on four workers. Four workers there. Three workers there. You want to have six in every position, really, including here where Staz has now expanded as well. Staz is trying to clear this, whatever it's called, oil tank. I mean, if that really was an oil tank, when you destroy it, it should leave a big pool of oil or it should explode or something. I wonder if it is it economically worth it to go for a TNT on a refinery like you would do with an oil. And uh, nobody is defending their oils. Nobody's scared of a TNT. Uh, but Excal definitely could do a TNT from there and hit one of those oils. Probably could go deep in the back and actually kill them as well. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely a way in. Excal now on the buggies. Oh, uh, Staz, where's the CC? Oh, he's got a CC now. Okay, he's got a CC. I like that. Could have Demo Rebel Ambush. He's got the Demo Upgrade. Where's the Demo Rebel Ambush going to be? Uh, it could be here. A lot of scorpions there. They are more in a line, though. Really, you want to hit them when they're more in a blob. But I think Excalibur... Ooh. Hmm. What's that good? He killed, like, four vehicles. Probably could have got a little bit more, like, there now, for example. But, yeah. Excalibur going to work with these buggies. Okay, going to be a TNT on this left position. Maybe Staz is realizing he's going to lose that. This is what I always say about high-level games. If you're losing an engagement somewhere and you can't take a fight, don't take a bad fight. Go and take a fight somewhere else. And in that case, he's realizing, okay, I might lose this position or I'm at least losing this position. Let's make use of what army I have. So I've got tier one units that fight up close. Let's try and clear this position. Just kick an exit off that um, top left supply once again. I would like to see that oil here at least. Excal has an oil advantage. Excal also floating 7.5k, dropping down some markets. Staz dropping down some markets as well. Probably kind of even in the market department. But yeah, Excal having real trouble holding onto this left position again. A lot of RPGs again for Staz. He just makes RPGs and that's it. Um, Excal still has this artillery platform, which is going to work on these RPGs, clearing them slowly. Yeah, what is Staz's answer to these buggies? Because they are causing a big problem over here. And if he just leaves them unattended... We will just continue to push him back and continue to rake in the XP. Staz is ahead in XP, at, actually, at the moment. He's actually gone for buggies himself. It just cost a little bit more. They're 1,000, they're 900. Of course, you've got the 10% discount taken into account from the refinery as well.
RPGs again, man. It's just like... RPGs is the backbone of all Staz's army so far. <laughs> a Skid Storm being built now by Excal. Uh, no Skid on the way for Staz. Yeah, there's a lot of buggies out now. He's going to need that Debra Demo Rebel Ambush. He's probably going to be ready about now. He could, like, chip away at the side with his own buggies fr from the line of x -Cals, And then when they're clumped together like this, then use the ambush. It's got to be ready soon. Next 30 seconds or so, I think. Why didn't he use his Jom in there? Bit of bad play there from Staz. Could use it now, man. What are you doing? Why are you not... Just going back with his Jarman. It's a Vet 2 Jarman. You're just letting it kill everything for free. Well, you have your Jarman nearby. It's like he's... Is he panicking a bit? Because he's losing so much ground. You'll see that Scud Storm now, and he will be probably beginning to panic a little bit. That's a very sad state of affairs there for that Jarman. Uh, I mean, Staz has a big line of tunnels. Congratulations, but you're losing this side and you, you, your Jarman did nothing. You've been kicked off this supply. He's got a decent amount of buggies himself, but Excal's still outnumbering him. Excal's ahead with the super weapons. Staz hasn't... He was floating a bit of cash and he's just not been dropping down markets, not been dropping down skirts. I mean, he's dropped down some markets, but... If Excal's got a scud, you would expect... Whoa, baby, that's a big one. <laughs> that is a big one. Okay. Now, all is forgiven for now. But why, uh, he's running away now from, like, a few buggies. Just turn and fight. You've got the greater numbers now. This guy's got four. You've got, like, ten. Take the fight. You can wipe out his buggies. Reduce, it to, reduce his count to zero. But Excal is really efficient with the buggies. And Staz just seems a little bit too scared. Scared of the Jarman as well. He should have been scanning. There's a Vet 3 Jarman now because he didn't kill it. The Jarman is back in action. Is he going to now scan it? Uh, he's got the radar scan. Look, there's so many buggies here for Staz. He should be able to win this fight. I think like Fargo style as well, he should be doing some TNTs throughout the game consistently. Like now, for example... Do an attack, pull your buggies back, and whilst they're going back, like, pop a TNT from here. Just go in and see what you can find, and guarantee you're going to find something decent. But yeah, that's a lot of buggies out now for Staz. Is he going to be able to do this? There's a bit of a control fire there on the ground, just a bit of a mistake. Uh, Staz has more upgrades. Of course, he's got the demo upgrade, but he's got AP rockets, whereas Excal does not. Excalibur only escapes there with two buggies now. Remember, Stanzas do cost more. But yeah, that Demorable Ambush really reset Excal's count. He only escaped with like, what, two or three? He's rebuilding a few of them now. Staz is very close to level 5, so that could surprise Excal. Like, whilst there's a, a bit of a buggy fight going on, place your Anthrax. You could even place your Anthrax, like, deep back so that the, the buggies can't retreat and Excal is then forced into a fight. That's something you could do. That uh, tunnel there, or whatever it was, has gone down. Vet 3 Jarman's still just chilling in the corner. I think he's waiting for the enemy Jarman to do something, and then he'll come in and strike. But uh, uh, Staz already wasted his Jarman. Buggies continue to trade off. Here comes the Anthrax bomb, but all the buggies have been wiped out anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. Okay, it stops the Stinger, stops the workers from collecting, stuff like that. Stops uh, any more buggies from popping from the tunnel. Jarman Kel's still there. Sneak attack now deployed down in the back. Excal pops a few units, but is there going to be a pop from Staz or not? I don't think that was a good idea to pop from there anyway, and he didn't. Um, so yeah, Staz has held his own, actually. A couple of little errors here and there, like the Jarman thing or whatever. 
But in the end, he's held here against a uh, super strong player that is Excal with his efficient buggy place. Sneak attack now from Excal in the back. Does pop. He's going to try and pick off an oil and probably go back. This is a big defense force here. Ooh, Anthrax. That was a decent Anthrax. Very, very decent. Very decent. And he got the oil. That is very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I was sure that wasn't going to achieve anything. But as the sneak happened, the Anthrax came in and actually wiped out a ton of buggies. And now these units are kind of stuck here for a second. Hmm. And there's a Scud about to fire in 20 seconds. Another Scud being deployed. Uh, Scud going up for Staz. That makes Exgal think now, do I want to hit that with my Scud? Or do I hit like one of the oils or do something else? That'd be a nice hit now, wouldn't it? You get the Sharpman again, which has been the most useless unit there for Staz. He's used the Toxin Tractor to clear up the Toxins, ironically. Uh, where is that going to hit? Is going on the main base. Is going on the oil and the arms dealers. That's going to be a big blow there for Staz. It's going to hurt his production. One of them has fully gone down. One of them has just got the radiation to buy it. And he's repairing as well. But Excal has got a big opportunity now while the unit count is low. While the buggy count is low. And actually continues to push in. But remember, Rebel Ambush is ready. And as I say that, the Vet 3 Jarman goes down. Rebel Ambush clears a load of buggies as well. And yes, yeah, suddenly the armies on the ground are a bit more even. But Excal brings in reinforcements from the buggies. He's still got the buggy count advantage. We've not seen any demo bikes or anything like that. But I'm not sure they'd achieve that much against like AP ammo quads and, uh, and buggies anyway. Are we going to see this Jarman finally do something? He can even just camp those workers or camp back here and snipe some stuff. Scorpions come in trying to take out some quads. Did the palace go down? No, palace is here. So where's his buggies, man? He's actually detonated his Jarman. <coughs> mm, I feel like Staz is slowly losing this game now. He is going to fire a Scud first next, but there's another sneak in the back. Staz seems to have some units ready, but is that just a distraction? It is just a distraction. Hop here from Staz on the right hand side. He's still trying to hold his base. He's going to lose his main supply at this rate. Excal pops a ton of quads. And I think that might be it for Staz, actually. Really think that might be it. Excal fully controlling the game. There's another oil about to go down. Staz is floating 10k. Yeah, Staz actually performed very good, like clearing that top supply twice throughout this game, but expect nothing less than Excal, even despite that high-level play there from Staz. Uh, it's just Excal is just too too good here for Staz, I think. Um, yeah, Excal not taking off the pressure at all. He's actually got a fourth arms dealer going now, just continuing the pressure. Scorpions and buggies versus quads and buggies. You need your buggies to chase away the enemy buggies whilst your scorpions fight this on the ground. Uh, he's got all the upgrades now for his unit, Staz. But I just don't know if he's going to be able to hold this. He's going to need to go for some kind of a counterattack, but Excal still has all three oils in play. Staz has zero. Actually, Ex Excal has four oils. Yeah, I feel like a big missed opportunity here from Staz throughout the game could have been, you know, like Fargo TNT someone throughout the whole game all the way to the end. Through this direct passage here, there has been loads of opportunities throughout the whole game to TNT loads of key stuff. Actually for Excal as well earlier on when I said it. As well. But yeah, especially as demo, you want to be using those TNTs more. I feel like that might have been something to change this game. Maybe need to do two or three improvements but at this rate it looks like he's going to be kicked out of this game he's got a scud to fire in 56 seconds but what is he going to shoot really what is he going to shoot just be delaying the inevitable that was weird how that scorpion just disappeared you see that
And it's just a cleanup operation, really, now for Excal. There is an Amphrax bomb on the way. It's going to just delay the inevitable, though. Excal has so many units. There is a sneak attack. Yeah, I don't know if it's the best location in the world with the palace here. But yeah, nice attempt either way. <clears throat> yeah, so GG there for Staz. Um, so yeah, I think when Staz first cleared that top left supply, he should have brought a worker. He should have deployed some demo traps on the tunnel and kept Excal off that supply. I also think Staz should have TNT the middle oil from any angle at any point during the game. And I also think he, from that left-hand side supply, the exact route that I showed you through to Excal's base, he could have done at least like two or three TNTs. Got some oils, got some markets, anything like that would have helped tip the balance, I think. If, I think if you did those three things, you'd have a really, really strong chance of winning. Maybe the Jarman needed to do some stuff as well. And the buggy usage, like even when he had the buggy numbers advantage, he was still running away, whereas Excal was chasing him with like three buggies versus ten. So I think Staz, if, if he implemented those four or five things, something like that, I think he could get the win. But yeah, you can't do too many mistakes like that against such a strong player like Excal and still expect to get the win. You've got to play absolutely flawless every single time if you want to get the win. But yeah, you let me know. Did you spot anything else Staz could have done better there to get the win? Did Excal make any mistakes? Do you think he could have done anything better as well? Uh, all players, well, I say all, I mean two. All two players needed to make more workers on their supplies. At one point I checked, they were all collecting on like four or even three workers on main supplies, so... Yeah, uh, Staz could have done a bit better defense on his workers on the bottom left supply. That's one thing that Excal always does well. Protect your workers against him because he will always just send one technical in and he'll kill a lot of your workers. So yeah, GG, well played to both players and see you in the next one.